wake up the whole world. Now was a high time to awake out of sleep. Today I'm gonna show you the seed of the new world order and also the mark of the bees that they already have. All they have to do is enforcing their law. The whole thing is tied with religion. That's why Revelation chapter 13 verse 17 the Bible says no one can buy or sell. Notice. It's a great honor for me. Thank you so much. Friends, I'm going to give you a little history and then I will tell you the power behind the scene, the new world order. Constantine was the one that who united the church and stayed together. Notice, during dark ages, pagan Rome, when he marched them to Tiber River, they said they was baptized. So when they came to the church, they was idol statue worshippers. So when they brought their statues in Roman Catholic Church, they start naming them Christian name, Jupiter and all this thing. They call them Peter and Rosary and all this paganism that they brought to Roman Catholic Church. And some of the Christians they don't like, so they protest against. That's why they call them Protestants or Protestant. So they set up their Jesuit order during 1500. The reason they said they are Jesuit order is to destroy the Christians that they protest against their paganism. They also infiltrate the state. To control the whole world, the Jesuit they created Masons, and now they got Skull and Bones, the Illuminati, all them secret societies, friends. They control the whole world, and what is Obama and all them power? They all belongs to secret societies. I love everybody. I don't have a choice if I want to go to heaven, but I gotta tell you the truth because the whole thing is tied with Bible. The church and state is gonna unite in the last days, and they will bring the mark of the beast that the Bible says. So notice. I did, your old country. Yes. And it was uh, successful. Successful. We have some decisions. The Iraq war has been another foreign policy challenge, beginning with John Paul's papacy. Other foreign policy priorities for Benedict include pushing for peace in the Holy Land and decrying rising secularism in Europe. He's also been quietly working to establish relations, something that was not possible during the last papacy, largely because of John Paul's role in the fall of communism in Poland. The Chinese obviously didn't want John Paul II running around China doing the same thing. Uh, Pope Benedict is, is not that kind of a threat to China. So. Most of the time in places around the world, Vatican diplomats work outside the spotlight, where experts say they often have an advantage. Some question how much government leaders of today truly listen to what the Pope has to say. And that, observers say, is a moral authority that can't be measured by economic strength or military divisions moral authority Benedict hopes to draw upon when meeting with U.S. officials and speaking before the United Nations. I'm Kim Lawton in Washington. Now we can see a new world coming into view. A world in which there is a very real prospect of a new world order. Pope Benedict the 16th is calling for a new world financial order. A document entitled Charity and Truth was released just hours before the G8 summit. Friends, the Jesuit order, they also infiltrate every religion, especially Sunday churches. That's why Revelation chapter 17 called this power, whore, notice, the mother of harlot. Jesus Christ is the one who died for the whole world and he's drawn everybody to himself. But this power, they don't want you to go to Jesus Christ. They want you to go to them and confess your sin to them. So notice what Revelation chapter 18 says. And they also infiltrate the kings, presidents. So notice. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen and is fallen. And is become the habitation of devils and the whole of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of her fornications. And notice, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Friends, now I'm going to tell you their mark. Notice this power, the mark of the beast. Because notice, if the Bible says the mark of the beast, means this power has a mark. 
the beast is a language that God is using for this power. And they themselves, they says in their own book, the book of Catechism, the old version, notice, they says Sunday worship is their mark of authority. The new version, they don't use the word authority, but at least, thank God, they still admit it, even the new version of Catechism. They still says they changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. Friends, the mark of the beast is not worldly speculations that sometimes you hear. Some people says, well, it's computer chip, but unfortunately you don't find in the Bible. And some people says, you know, it's 666. But according to Revelation 13 verse 18, actually 666 help you to find the beast. What I mean is to identify the beast. But the Bible says the mark. The reason why I repeat and I kind of stretch it because I don't want you to miss it. It's a deception. Notice the mark of the beast. It's clear. It means the power, the beast has a mark. to change the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. But unfortunately, Sunday churches, they adopt sun worship day for so many years they don't want to get rid of it but actually it's a pagan sun worship day sunday worship look even the spellings you'll find out matter of fact if you look at your calendar sunday is always begin as the first day of the week Unfortunately, they will skip and some people they don't know they will count Monday as the first day of the week because according to Revelation chapter 12 verse 9 the devil will deceive the whole world so it's a deception so a lot of people the devil you know he's in the process blinding the people including the Christian though. Friends if you go to church Sunday notice the first day church now you don't have the mark of the beast according to Revelation 14 and 13 unless the law it's an enforce. That's why now you hear different country they try to force in the people to not sell or do anything on Sunday because they try to enforce the law. But according to Bible notice United States is the one who's going to cause the whole world to worship the beast. They are sun worship day means Sunday worship according to Revelation 13. So whenever United States enforce the law then every country also going to enforce because they control the whole world. Every president on the Roman Catholic Church. Friends, Saturday is always the Sabbath. The seventh day of the week. Notice, and again, it's always Saturday. And that's why the Bible says the seventh day is the Sabbath. Jewish nation, even though I'm not Jewish, they still keep the Sabbath Saturday. And also... Encyclopedia, you will find it even different language. If you speak Spanish, Sabado means Saturday. You can also find in the Bible, according to Genesis chapter 2, verse 2 to 3, you're going to find out that God created heaven and the earth six days, and the seventh day he rested. And that seventh day, it's Saturday. And then Jesus Christ, remember, when Adam and Eve they sinned, Jesus Christ came to redeem our soul and he finished his work six days, Friday afternoon. Remember, that's why they call it Easter Friday or Good Friday. It says it is finished Friday and then he rested Saturday, just like he rested Genesis chapter 2 verses 1 to 3. And Sunday, the early day in the morning, you will find in the book of Luke chapter 24 verses 1 to 3. You will also find in Luke chapter 23 verses 50 to 56. The seventh day is always Saturday until Constantine 321. He changed it from Saturday to his own pagan son, creation, worship day. The devil behind the scene. You are about to see the power. God is going to fill up with his outpouring. Just like he did it for the first century. The apostle church. And then we are going to go forward and preach the loud cry. The third angel's message. We are going to protest against their pagan son worship day. Means their Sunday worship. 
And then Jesus Christ will come, just like Bible says, if the day is not short, no flesh will be saved. But for the elect's sake, means those who take a stand, the day will be shortened. Friends, this is a beautiful time in history because we only one step away from heaven. The mark of the beast, the worship issue in Revelation chapter 13. If you get time, read it. Because Revelation chapter 13 verse 12, it's a worship issue and verse 15, it's a worship Worship issue and verse 8 is a worship issue and the Bible help us to understand that behind the scene Revelation 13 is the devil he wants the whole world to worship him friends you have to escape you have to study your Bible Christ is calling you whether you are Christian or not whenever you hear Sunday worship in any countries do not accept it God is going to protect you Bible says our bread and water will be short your holiness on behalf of all of us gathered here today, indeed on behalf of all the people of our beloved nation, we welcome you.